Now to another story. Recently, a good number of farmers in Taraba State have suffered losses from flooding and insecurity. Bala Aji is one of them. He says without government's urgent intervention, Nigeria might soon face an acute food crisis. Here is the story. Bala Aji is a farmer and he caters for his family of eight alongside other dependents. He has suffered losses from his farm as a result of flood and insecurity. He has only two bags of maize left from the proceeds of last year's raining season, describing the situation as pathetic. Crisis in some areas like northeast where the whole state or two, three states are not functional uh, agriculturally. And even, I tell you, my storehouse is even exhausted because people troop in to look for assistance from us. I'm telling you, people are suffering. Farmlands have been abandoned as farmers fear for their lives. They prefer to farm at home, which is barely enough to feed their families. One issue that the feeding of domestic animals is also affected as farmers ask for credit facility that can enable them improve their productivity. If they give you the loan, they will give you like the seed, fertilizer, herbicide, and then they will add money to you to go and farm. After the harvest, it's the government that will now buy the product from you. There was a scheme of stepping up production of soybean. And that was, it, it, it was given at interest free. If you assess that loan, you were meant to bring back certain bags instead of uh, bringing in cash. According to the state government, 65% of its population engage in agriculture activities. At the flag off of the distribution of agricultural inputs to farmers for the 2021 farming season, Governor Dario Sishaku wants more residents to engage in farming while asking farmers and herders to close rank to improve productivity. This effort will not only boost agriculture in the state, but create wealth for our people and improve their livelihood. Despite this exercise, the farmers are hoping to engage in all-season farming to be able to clearly mitigate the impact of the food crisis in the country. All hands must be on deck to prevent food insecurity in Nigeria.